Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a flip through of my completed journal. I've had this journal for about four months and I ended up taking out some pages because it got super chunky so it wouldn't even um, stay close and it was just getting really hard to work in uh, because of the bulkiness. So I posted a video that has the empty journal so if you want to look at that. Um, here it has a pocket which I still have to do a little card. I like to do a card with like my current favorites or anything like that and then just slip it in there and also with the dates from when I started this journal and then when I finished. So in this first page I didn't put anything just because I liked how this looked together and I like the pattern paper. So here I used this printable from Sweet Pea Curiosities. Um, it's a printable of doors and it's just cool because it's interactive um, but you can use them however you like. And then this one is a printable from Little Bindi. Then here one day I was just messing around with some paints and these are some dried flowers that I pressed myself. So with this I started with one big page and then I just tore it up into smaller pieces. Um, here I have this little pocket that I made with some book pages and then I have this playing card and I just liked how the colors looked there um, and then it'll just be nice to find later, later on when it's old. Here I just put a pressed flower from my garden oh, and then these little snippets I made with scraps so those are always fun to make and then just add. This entry was about some books that I had read, so then I just gave them a rating and journaled a little bit about that. Here I just have a drawing. Uh, my daughter drew me crafting, and this is our craft table, so I thought it was cute to save. She draws a lot, so um, can't always save them all, but I do save the ones that are super cute, like that one. Here, this little flip I also made from that same book. Um, it's this book with line drawings, but it has some weird text, so I ended up covering a lot of the text when I made these. Um, but it works really well as a little flip. This page um, was about our family pictures that I did, that we did. Um, and this little pocket here is a like it came, I think I thrifted this or uh, like with a stack of buttons, but it, it was for extra buttons. And then I just put pictures in there. And it just flips like that. Here I used some lace that I got from, I bought a journal from a girl. Her name is Jessica Journals or Jessica Junk Journals, I think. So anyway, she sent a couple extra things with the journal and this is one of the pieces and also this paper. So I used a kind of like a flip. So it's like a photo strip, but it's nice because they're hidden. So it's not like super photo heavy. And then here I have some more drawings that my daughter made. And then this uh, it's a printable for Little Bindi and same thing with the doily in the back. And this is when uh, my hair was really dark and long. And I made this little like interactive piece to show the after. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm a blondie for now. And then this page, I put in this door here with the intention of putting a picture in here. But then I really liked how the yellow looked with these flowers in the back and I just didn't want to cover it, so I just left it there. This is a printable from Little Bindi, and I used a couple of the prompts. Here's one of them, it's um, write a list of things that inspire you. So I put that there and I put this cute little tag from some clothes that I bought my daughter. And then here is an entry about this little shelf that I thrifted and I made it over. And so I put my granny chic because it has that granny chic style. And here's the printable. And then this is some 
cutouts from a Michaels paper pad. That is, the whole sheet is covered with envelopes and I just cut out two and put them there. So this is um, for my sister's baby shower. It was weird, she had her gender reveal on July 4th, the baby shower on September 4th, and then the baby was born on November 4th. And it wasn't intentional, he came early. Um, so yeah, I just put this little playing card here with fours. And I made this little file for the folder with like a folio, and then just put a little scrappy band on there. And there's some journaling in there. Then this frame was also made with um, scraps. So I love using like a collage master board and then putting it all over the journal. And then I did some journaling here and some extra pictures. And then some more pictures. This was actually from my sister's, um, I think her baptism, yeah. So when she was baptized, these were the little like um, invites or something. I'm not really sure, but anyways, it's from 1999. Somehow it ended up in my house, so I have it. I made this little um, scrappy thing that just says God is great and with extra pictures. And I have another one of those little scrappy bands here. So here I have this interactive piece, which is a printable from Little Bindi. And I'll list the shops down in the description box. And here I have some journaling. And then I backed this picture and put a little scrappy tab there. This entry I did as a journal with me, so there's a video if you want to see the process. Um, I ended up adding this after the video and I took off, eventually took off the little embellishments that I had here because they were so bulky and it was hard to work in. But now that the journal is done, I might put them back in there. So let's see, yep, just another one of those scrappy tags that I made with just paper scraps. Something in here is squeaking. This was about when my son got his first haircut. His hair was like crazy long and insane. And he got a haircut and I almost cried because he looked so big after that. So then I obviously picked that for the haircut. Um, just a to-do list. So the next, let's see, like these two and a, like one and a half signatures are Christmas and I already have a flip through so I'll just go click quickly over these but ever since that video I did add this which says I love Christmas Christmas is the best and she the way she wrote it is too funny um and this is old I found this like going going through some of my like bands of memories so I just put that there to kind of give it as the intro for the Christmas um, what is it called? Like December daily type entries. So I have a tag here. And again, I'll go through this quickly because I already did a whole video on this. I did add this since then and this playing card back here that says parka. Um, just because we were wearing really big sweaters the whole time we were in Colorado. Uh, but yeah, so... I have this tag here. This was a card from, a postcard that I got from Junie Desiree. I bought a journal from her and she included this in one of the packs. Another little scrap, scrappy embellishment. Another one here. So you see like you can make these on your spare time and then it's so easy to use them to embellish things. I have a doily here that is a printable. Some drawings in here. This was a bag from a shop that we went to in Colorado. Here's another one of those doors from Sweet Pea Curiosities. 
And then this printable is from uh, With Love L on Etsy. And I'll put that down below too. This is also from her shop. And this doily is from her shop. Oh, and this tag. So I used a lot. It's one kit that I got, I think. And it had a bunch of stuff in it. So I used that. Um, I really love this page. It looks like a nature journal type. And um, like I mentioned in that other video, we do this a lot, my daughters and I. We do like nature study. And so whenever we go on walks or anything, or even in our backyard, we'll draw nature things and then we'll look them up and learn something about them. So that's kind of how I did this here. This page is just a pocket for drawings. And then I found these in my box. I gave this to my mom when I was like eight or something for Mother's Day, so. And then my daughter gave me this pin and I just put it there because I didn't have another use for it. And it'll be cool later on, like years from now to find that there. So this entry was about, um, I decided to like start buying quality pieces instead of, um, you know, like shopping at Target is great, but um yeah so i was just buying like better makeup and some more brands and then i did buy one coach bag because i needed like one classic bag so anyways that's what that was about and then my daughter she drew these outfits and then i cut them out and i glued them there and then this here because well she's the sunshine she's my sunshine so i just put that there it says when you can't find the sunshine be the sunshine this was at a like a fall festival thing and then they got their face painted so that's what this entry was about and I kind of did like a collage and I like painted in the back and just made it like mixed media I guess and I think that same day the colors from here inspired me to just put some paint down and then I did some journaling this is my sister-in-law's wedding invitation and that's why it has her address covered. So here I journaled about, um, this is my sister-in-law on her wedding day. And then I did some journaling in this paper. And here I included the tag that she asked um, the girls um, to be her flower girls. And my oldest, she kept her tag. So that's why I only have my younger daughter there. And then my husband wrote flower girl here so i kept that little strip he was writing it for her to copy and say yes i'll be your flower girl and then this is a picture of me on the wedding day and this back um i got from juni desiree and it said tropical delight i was like you know what i am a tropical delight so <laughs> i used that as the background um here i did some journaling and then this entry was about uh so these are my high school friends and this these two pictures are like 18 years apart and um yeah so we just got together again and i put the pictures there together for this entry um i did a journal with me video so you can go ahead and check that out and i'll have the link below if you want to see it um, but i just have little photo strips from our trip and this is a bag from something that i bought while we were on the trip I use these dry flowers from some flowers that my husband got me. So you don't always have to use everything from the same. You can just combine items this way. I have this little envelope here that has little, um, it has extra pictures. Um, this was a mix of different things. Um, this was something that my daughter said that I thought sounded like a poem, <laughs> kind of. Uh, my husband and I drew this together like we just handed the paper back and forth and we just kept adding to it um, this is a list well I had to, I had a to-do list 
going and then my daughters added play and play so that I would play with them. Uh, so I just kept that because I thought it was sweet. And then, um, yeah. So then I went through my old, I had an old planner that I did some kind of memory keeping, like very light, just little couple sentences a week or so. So I cut all the strips out and I included them throughout the journal. So that's what those random pieces of paper. This paper I really loved and I couldn't bring myself up to covering it. And then especially after I added that washi strip. So I just kept it like that. And then for this entry, I also have a video on how I put it together in my journaling process. But here I kept receipts from our day uh, when we went to the science museum and some, um, yeah. And here I have some more pictures and a drawing my daughter did. This page um, is one of those journaling prompts. So it says, how would you like people to describe you? And then I just wrote some words there. Um, this is a little journal that I made for a friend um, of my daughter's for her birthday. And then this is another piece of uh, this mixed media journal thing that I, or like art piece or whatever. And then I added a sentiment there, uh, a sticky note that my daughter wrote me or a note that my daughter wrote me. And then here's one of those doilies from With Love L journals. So I used it for journaling on the back and then another one of those scrappy tags that I made with a master board. And then I just put a picture. Um, and this entry was about my daughter and her haircut. She had super long hair, like down to her waist. And she begged me for months to cut it. So this was like right after we cut it. Here I have, you see how it's like so difficult to work in this journal. But here I have, um, I have a garden and I grow different things like flowers and some fruit and stuff. But I've grown this twice now, uh, like two different seasons and this is roselle and i make like a cranberry sauce for thanksgiving uh using these and so i put the recipe here and then i just put some pictures and journaled about it um this is different bits put together this is a doily from little bindi and then my brother um he was carrying me and just walking around so i journaled about that here we went to the Plant City Police Department and they're known for growing strawberries. So that's why I included some strawberries here because I didn't really have any like police ephemera. So I just did that. And then I used one of the printables from Little Bendy where I, and I used it to journal. And actually this, this, and this is from her shop. So yeah. And this is really cool because they got to tour like every area of the police, depart the police department. Um, and they got to ask some questions to the cop and it was just a cool field trip. Here's when my nephew was born. So I did some journaling about that. I was with my sister and it was the whole thing. So um, yeah, I journaled about that and then I included some extra pictures here. Then here I have a drawing by one of my girls and then this, um, just some different moments in the garden and my mom and yeah. I think I have a process video as, or some kind of video of how I put this together. This is when we went to New Jersey and so, or New York City, I mean. I have some pictures of that day and some journaling. This postcard I got when I ordered some um, education materials on different artists. And so I used it as a pocket. And then here are some pictures from our homeschooling days. And I used this coloring page as a journaling card. 
And then these stickers, which I used over here too, let me see, right here. These are from AliExpress and they're pretty cool and they look like retro. Um, this, we packed a shoe box to send to a kid in need and we wrote, a, well, my daughters did, they wrote like a little letter as like kind of like a pen pal. So um, that's what I wrote about in here. And then this is just a junk mail envelope. And then here's some more of our homeschool days and field trips. Here we went to a farm and then I did this little flip of pictures of them at the farm. This is a cut out drawing by my daughter. And then here's one of those like random entries from my old planner that I was talking about. And here I have some drawings for my daughters and then little sweet notes and then a drawing or little art thing that they made. Um, my daughter drew, she actually scribbled this when she was like one and it looked like a dinosaur so I just put a little eye and called that a dinosaur. Um, this was a field trip to Bush Gardens but then this is also a pass from the Strawberry Festival like um, mentioned in Plant City. So I just used it as a pocket, but it's not related to this day. I just put it there. I had it in my box of memories and I just been wanting to put them, put some of them in the journal. And then here I just have extra pictures. Um, here I just, made this entry about the girls and their little crafty habits my daughter put this bed and she made the bedding and everything um, by herself and she made it out of a cardboard box and it was just so sweet and then uh, my oldest she was making wallets so yeah they make me really proud then here um, is just a little entry about her reading and how much she likes to read and this is from one of our trips to South Carolina. And again, I had it in that box. So then I was just trying to use those things up. This page was so pretty. I didn't want to cover it. So I left it blank. This I got in junk mail. And I just really like the colors. It's um, an ad for Misfit Markets. Or Misfits Market. And yeah, just the colors were cool. So I just stapled it on there. Here I have from that same planner, this was when I was a resident and this was the last, um, like my last month. So this is residency ends and then party for being done. Wow. Um, again, that's from the same planner. We went to Disney, so I just wrote about that and it was just a whole page. So I just glued it on here. Here, um, we did, I did like a test day where I just gave them a big cardboard and I told them to fill it up with anything that they had learned in our term. And that, so that's what this is about. This is one of our field trips to the Museum of Arts. And I bought this postcard there and I thought the colors were pretty. And then I love how the colors here play with each other. And so I think I have a quick little video on this too. Uh, because as you can see, it's like a really simple entry. I just put the pictures down, put our ephemera down, and a couple stickers, and then journal. And that's it. Like, it doesn't have to be a whole thing every time we journal. Um, so here, uh, this was from, uh, in pharmacy, we have pharmacy week, and we did like an international theme this year. And I kept one of the little food like a glassine bag that somebody brought in. And so I journaled about that and I made, this tag is actually like a watercolor pad and this was the cover. So I just cut it up into a tag and that fit perfectly in here. Um, this entry is about us working out and then I had this tag that said, love your body because it's yours. And I thought that was perfect. So I put it on there and then I talked about, you know, having like a healthy body image, but also making sure that you take care of your body. 
this is my husband and I went to the movies, so I journaled about that. I this is from my old planner. I put it there, and then these bits were also from my planner, where I used to just write, which I still do, but I just wrote about like things that I was thankful for that week. Um, so that's what that was. My daughter made me this envelope with a drawing in here. So I just glued that down into a blank page. Here, I just journaled about their bond, basically. And I put pictures of them together. And um, here it says, a sibling is a little bit of your childhood that can never be lost. And I just, I love that because my siblings and I, we had a great childhood. And so I want the same thing for them. And then here I use one of those scrappy tags that I, I make these like in batch and then I just use them wherever and then some more pictures. And then here, instead of putting pictures in the pocket, I just kind of made a little scrapbook there, scrapbook page. Um, my daughter, she, every time she loses something, she draws it like a lost and found image or something. And she's like, here, let me draw it for you. And so this is one of the unicorns that she lost. And then here's one more um, of those memories from that other, same thing with this from that old planner. So I just kept them. Same thing here actually. Um, and then I did some journaling about where these pieces of, um, like where these random bits came from. I wrote it back here. And then this page, I folded in here, and my plan was to journal like in white pen around here, because I just love this image, but it just stayed blank. I might come back to it one day or something, but for now, this journal is done. It's just too bulky to work in. And then the last entry, yep, was about the hurricane that hit Florida this past year. And like what we did during the hurricane, we lost power for like, 36 hours but it was not bad for us at least thankfully and then my daughter she drew portraits of everybody and they're hilarious like that is funny so i kept those and then um we mostly like did puzzles and we played games by flashlight but right before the weather got real bad we went outside and she was playing in the rain and that reminded me of like how I grew up playing in the rain all the time. Um, and then these are flowers from my garden that I pressed. And zinnias don't press very well. They're kind of bulky. So that is the finished journal. I was going to make another one for myself. But then I remembered that I bought this one from Jessica Junk Journals. And I am excited to use this one. It is kind of a baby theme. I mean, that's how she made it. But I bought it with the intention of just using it however. So I'll probably move the stickers around that she included. But it is so pretty. And I love all the selection of papers that she included in here. I'll just give, give you a quick little flip through. Look at this pretty paper. So I'm really excited to use this one. But you see like this little thing that says blanky. I could use it in one of the baby books. I still have to put my son's baby book together. So I'll definitely find a use for them. But I'll probably have to move them with my... Because they probably won't match my everyday journaling as much. Is what I'm trying to say. But look how pretty. I love all the trim she did. Cute little envelope. And she included tons of little cutouts and little extra bits. So that's cool. So yeah, this will be my next journal. So whenever I post videos or anything like that, this is what you'll see me working in. So that's the end of the video. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know below and I'll post all the information about like the different shops where I got the printables and things like that 
in the description box. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.